this one's a five by seven. You could also do um, four by six, but today we're going to do the five by sevens. Anyways, you're gonna need three of them. And these are the ones that I picked up. Um, if you find some, get the ones that have the little white box around them. And I'll explain why later. Also, you're gonna need some college rule paper or whatever paper they have at the Dollar Tree is fine, even if it's like composition notebook paper. You'll also need a pack of erasers, some pencils. This one's a 24 pack. And then we're also gonna try out the uh, Crafter Square Permanent Vinyl. This one is black and this one is white. We're gonna try to use these for the first time with my Cricut. So I'll be able to give you guys an honest review on if I like it or not. Anyways, let's get started. Oh, another thing we're gonna need to um, adhere the frames together is some wood glue. They also sell this at the Dollar Tree as well. So let's get started. So first things first, we're gonna open these up and then I'm gonna to explain to you guys um, how to make these. So they're all unpackaged. Now the next step is we're gonna take off the backings on each one of these carefully. take out this cardboard piece and then also take out this frame you guys can toss this we won't be needing it and then we're going to do that for all three so now that that's done we are only going to be using um one glass from uh, one of these glasses that are inside so we do not need the other two. So we're gonna be taking these, these two glasses out. You can put them to the side, use them for another project. And then we're also gonna be using only, we're only gonna need one of the backings. So you can also take that out, put it to the side. And then after that, I will come back to you guys and show you what the next step is. So I have this glass right here. I'm gonna set it to the side. We are going to um, put the vinyl on this glass, but what you should do and I recommend you doing is for you to put the vinyl on first, um, cut out the vinyl, put the vinyl on first, and then put it in the frame. But until the me in the meantime, what we're doing with these three frames is we're gonna take out these uh, metal hooks on two of them. We're only gonna need the metal hooks to be on one. So um, we're gonna take these off with some pliers and then we're going to glue the frames together as best as we can because we're gonna make it into like a shadow box. That makes sense. But we're only gonna need two so then that way the backing will go on the, the one in the back and then it will give us like a, um, a shadow box effect. Um, so I will take these off with the pliers and then I'll come back. All right, so now that that's done, I'm going to um, clean this glass off with some Windex, and then I'm going to cut out the vinyl and show you guys um, what design I'm putting on here. So this is gonna be my first time using this vinyl, so if um, it doesn't work out, I'll let you guys know. But for the most part, I want to try to keep it all a Dollar Tree theme. So we're gonna try this out. I did not pay attention and see if they had transfer tape by this brand. So I'm gonna be just using my Cricut transfer tape and of course my Cricut mats. So we're gonna try this out and then see if this is gonna work. So already this vinyl is much thinner than what I'm typically used to using. Um, I can tell already. So we're just gonna have to play around with it. 
hopefully I can cut this out. I mean, typically vinyl doesn't come up this easily. So we're gonna see if this is gonna work out. Typically, I use Cricut vinyl or or Oracle vinyl. But this says this is permanent, so we're gonna see. This is very thin. Here is the design I'm gonna be using to put on the glass. I bought it off of Etsy. I can put a link in the description of um, where I got it from and what shop I bought it from. But I also put this, I added this extra, the name on here and this in Cricut, Cricut Sands. Um, so total size is, um, it's five by seven so you just kind of play around with it see what you like i'm going to be using white for the influence of a good teacher can never be erased and then i'll be using the dollar tree black vinyl for the name and so we're just going to go to make it right here in the corner and then we're going to go to continue and let's see what material I should put this on. I'm kind of scared that it's gonna cut through because I've never tried this vinyl before. So let's just try vinyl and see what will happen. If it doesn't work, then I will try something else. It's only $1.25, so if it doesn't work, then that's fine. But we're going to try this out. And you don't have to use the Dollar Tree vinyl because it's not looking like it cut it really well. Um, you can use whatever vinyl you have. But I just wanted to try it out and see if it will work because I wanted to make this an all Dollar Tree craft. But if you have to, use whatever vinyl you have. And you don't even have to use the vinyl. If you don't have a cutter, you can use something else. You can use, um, they have stickers. They sell stickers at the Dollar Tree. You can make it however you want to make it. I'm just trying to show you guys how I do it. But typically, like I said, I don't use Dollar Tree vinyl, but I wanted to try it out and see if it will work. So let's see if I can read it. So as you can see, it's super thin. I'm not going to use this piece. I'm going to try to cut it again, but I'm gonna use a different setting. I'm gonna try to use Washi Tape Plus um, to see or washi tape, maybe that will cut it better. But this is not gonna work. And I wouldn't recommend selling this to anyone if you plan on selling it or giving it to anyone um, with this quality of vinyl. But I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna keep trying it. I'm gonna try a different setting and see if it'll work and then I'll come back. I'm it on the washi tape more setting. Let's see if that would be a better option. Oh, 
So I tried a few different things off camera and this vinyl is just not cutting. Either it will cut it too much or it won't cut it enough. So I'm going to just use my regular vinyl. Um, if you guys have any recommendations on what setting I should use for this Dollar Tree vinyl, please feel free to drop them in the comments because I am interested to know what settings will cut this because this is not working out for me. So if you guys have any recommendations, put it down in the comments below. So I'll be using this um, Oracle 651 permanent vinyl. This is white. And then I'll be using my Cricut vinyl in black. Alright, so that's done now, finally, and now we're going to place the vinyl on here, and then after we're done doing that, we're going to put the frame together. The reason why we put the vinyl on first is because we, uh, I don't like to put it on after we put the frame on, but you can apply the vinyl last if that's what you want to do. But since this is glass, I didn't want to trust it. So now that this is done and over with, and if it's crooked, it's okay. This is just for video purposes. Um, now that that's done, we're going to glue the frames together. Um, and this is going to be my first time using this Dollar Tree wood glue, so um, hopefully it will work. I've never used it before. Typically, I use um, other wood glue, like, you know, the more expensive. But this is what we have, and I'm trying to stick with the Dollar Tree stuff. So let's try to glue these together. Okay, so what's going to happen is we're going to glue this one on top of this one, and then the one with the um the metal pieces are is going to be the last one so then that way we can close the frame and the reason why we chose this frame is because it has um like uh it has this little piece on the backing so if you this piece right here so if you go to the dollar tree and you look at other frames some of them have like little indentations in the back so you got to be sure to pay attention when you're picking out a frame. You don't have to pick out the frames that I chose, but um, these are the frames that I've used and the ones that work best for me. So let's try to glue this together and see. Um, it says that it will take 30 minutes after holding firmly. You have to hold firmly for 30 minutes and it, it will take 24 hours to dry. So we are going to try this out. I'm just going to put it all along this line right here. And this line right here. Sorry, it's kind of messy. And then we're going to place the other frame on top of this one. And then we're going to do the same thing with the third frame after the glue dries. And then we're going to put the frame together. Um, I don't know. You probably should put the vinyl in uh, the glass in there first, to be honest. Because once you put the other frame on, I don't think you'll be able to put the glass in. So let's just do that. So we'll just place that on top. We're gonna have to let it dry, but try to line it up as best as you can. Oh. Try to line it up as best as you can um, with the other frame. So then that way it looks like one 
uh, like a frame, like one big frame, like a shadow box type. And then once that glue dries, I actually could probably just add the second frame on top right now. Let's try to do that. All right, so I um, glued the third frame on top and I'm gonna give it a little time to, um, I'm gonna get the glue a little time to um, work and then I'll wipe out off the, you know, the, ex the excess glue off the sides, but this is how it looks so far. Got to make it look as much as a shadow box as you can. So make sure when you go to the Dollar Tree and you get the frames that none of the frames are damaged and that all three of them are the same before you um, make this purchase. But yeah, we're going to come back when the glue dries and then I'm going to finish the rest. All right, so the frame is mostly dry. Um, I cleaned it up a little bit. I'm probably going to have to go over it again. But I'm going to go over it when I fully put it together. That way the glass doesn't keep falling out. But anyways, we're going to now um, take the back of our college ruled paper or whatever paper you have. And then we're going to take the back of the frame and then we're going to like, you know, um, draw a line around it, then cut it out. And then we're going to glue it to the back of this so you won't see this part of it for the sake of this video i'm gonna try to keep it a dollar tree thing they do sell tacky glue at the dollar tree this one is a bigger version but they do have small versions at the dollar tree so we're going to use this and we're going to um glue the piece of paper on the back of this frame okay so now that that's glued here goes the fun part. We're gonna now use the erasers. I'm gonna open these up. And you're just gonna dump them in there. You can use one pack or two packs. It's all up to you. Um, I'm gonna see how it looks with one pack. And then we'll come, let's see. So you just put the frame in there. how this looks um let's put another one in there let's try to make it you can make it as full as you want to it all is a personal preference on what you would like if you would like to um Hot glue gun this, I highly recommend it. I'm probably gonna do it off camera just so it, the backing can stay in place um, because there is quite a bit of space in between um, the backing and the frame itself. So this would be like the perfect gift for any school educator, teacher, principal. Actually, going to add um, these pencils from the Dollar Tree onto the frames just for an extra little touch. Um, I also, you also could add whatever you can find at the Dollar Tree ribbon. It doesn't even have to be Dollar Tree stuff. I also have some scrap uh, measure tape measure that I could add. I could put a bow on there, or I can add um, some ribbon. That I got from Michaels or Hobby Lobby. Actually, I got this from Hobby Lobby. I could add this to the top in a bow. You can do whatever you want to add a special little touch to it. But I'm going to add this with a hot glue gun. And then I'm also going to do the backing. But if you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will be doing more Dollar Tree DIYs very soon, so please bear with me. I know the video is a little choppy, but this is my first time making a video. But anyways, thank you guys for watching.
Bye.